Today's story is titled Quantum Hearts Entangled. Please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It helps our story reach more fellow readers like yourself. It all began on an ordinary Tuesday afternoon in my small, cluttered laboratory at the university. I had devoted my life to the intricate mysteries of theoretical physics, chasing the elusive dream of unlocking the secrets of the multiverse. My name is Dr. Eliza Foster, and this is the story of how my life took an unimaginable turn into the realms of the unknown. I was 34 years old when the incident that would forever change my life occurred. At that point, my life was a finely tuned balance between my personal and professional worlds, both of which revolved around my unquenchable thirst for knowledge. In my personal life, I was a woman of simple tastes. I lived alone in a cozy apartment filled with bookshelves lined with tomes on physics, astrophysics, and cosmology. My spare time, when I could find it, was spent sipping tea and losing myself in the intricacies of theoretical physics. My closest companion was my faithful cat, Newton, who often kept me company during long nights of research. As for my work at the lab, it was my true passion and vocation. I had earned my PhD in theoretical physics from a prestigious university and had been a researcher at the same institution for over a decade. My laboratory was a place of organized chaos, with papers, equations, and prototypes scattered about. I was known for my dedication to unraveling the mysteries of the multiverse, a pursuit that many considered outlandish and impractical. My colleagues often teased me about my unwavering commitment to my work, but they couldn't deny the results it yielded. I had a reputation for pushing the boundaries of conventional science, and my colleagues respected me for my dedication, even if they didn't fully understand the depths of my obsession. In those days, I lived and breathed the quest for knowledge, driven by an insatiable curiosity about the cosmos and the possibility of other dimensions. It was this obsession that led me to that fateful moment in my laboratory when I accidentally opened the portal to another dimension, setting in motion the incredible story that would become my life's greatest adventure. In the midst of a chaotic experiment, as I manipulated a device I had designed to probe parallel dimensions, a sudden surge of energy coursed through the room. It was as if the laws of physics themselves had momentarily shattered. An inexplicable rift tore through the fabric of space-time, leaving me standing in awe of the shimmering portal that now beckoned before me. As I stood there in the midst of my laboratory, surrounded by the crackling energy of the newly formed portal, a whirlwind of thoughts and emotions surged through my mind. This was the moment I had dreamt of my entire life, the culmination of years of relentless research and experimentation, but it was also a decision that could change the course of my existence forever. I watched the shimmering portal before me, its colors dancing and beckoning like a siren's call. It was as if the very fabric of the universe had opened up to reveal its secrets, and I was on the precipice of a choice that would shape the rest of my life. My heart pounded in my chest as I considered the possibilities. On one hand, I could stay here on Earth, in the familiar surroundings of my laboratory, continuing my work in the hope of achieving some level of recognition and understanding of the multiverse. I could continue with the life I had built, the routine and stability that had been my anchor. But on the other hand, there was the unknown, the uncharted territory of that alien world beyond the portal. It was a world of infinite potential, of mysteries waiting to be unraveled. My scientific curiosity burned brighter than ever, and I couldn't ignore the overwhelming temptation to step through and explore what lay beyond. Yet, I also knew that this decision came with an inherent risk. I might step through that portal and never return. I might leave behind the life I knew, my friends, my colleagues, and everything that had defined me up to that point. It was a leap into the abyss, a gamble with no guarantees. As I considered these conflicting thoughts, a deep sense of determination welled up within me. I had always been willing to push the boundaries of conventional science, to take risks that others deemed too great. This was my moment, my chance to be at the forefront of a discovery that could reshape our understanding of reality itself. With a steadying breath, I made my decision. 
I took a step forward, feeling the pull of the portal's energy drawing me closer. I couldn't resist the allure of the unknown any longer. I was ready to embark on this journey, to cross the threshold into a world beyond imagination, and to see where this newfound path would lead me. Whatever the consequences, I was willing to face them, for the pursuit of knowledge beckoned me forward. The world on the other side was unlike anything I had ever imagined. A surreal landscape stretched out before me, bathed in an otherworldly hue of purples and blues. Towering crystalline structures rose like majestic spires, refracting the alien sunlight into a mesmerizing dance of colors. As I stepped through the shimmering portal, a breathtaking landscape unfolded before my eyes, a world so alien, so wondrous, that it defied all earthly comparisons. The transition was seamless, as if I had been born to belong in this surreal realm. The sky above me was a radiant canvas of colors that I couldn't even begin to describe. Violets, blues, and hues that had no earthly counterpart stretched endlessly, creating a mesmerizing tapestry overhead. There were no discernible constellations, just an ever-shifting sea of cosmic lights that danced with a celestial elegance. Beneath my feet, the ground was a soft, iridescent material that seemed to pulse with life. It was as if the very planet I stood on was alive, resonating with the energy of the multiverse. Strange flora surrounded me, plants that glowed with an inner light, casting a soft, ethereal glow across the landscape. In the distance, towering crystalline structures rose like majestic spires, reflecting the alien sunlight in a dazzling array of colors. Each of these structures seemed to house its own secrets and wonders, and I couldn't help but be drawn toward them. The air was filled with a gentle hum, a harmonious symphony of vibrations that resonated with my very being. It was a sound unlike anything I had ever heard on Earth, a melody that seemed to speak of the profound mysteries of the universe. And then, as I looked around in awe, I spotted him. Zarian, the alien scientist, stood not far from me, his radiant turquoise skin shimmering in the unique light of this world. His eyes met mine, and I felt that undeniable connection once more, the bond of kindred souls in a universe full of wonders. The portal had brought me to a realm where the very laws of physics were different, where the possibilities were limitless. As I took in the surreal beauty of this alien world, I knew that my life had been forever changed. There was no turning back now, no returning to the ordinary existence I had known on Earth. I had crossed into a new dimension, a dimension where science would lead me on an extraordinary journey through the multiverse, one that would challenge the boundaries of reality itself. As our eyes locked, I felt an inexplicable connection, transcending the boundaries of language and species. In that instant, I knew that the discovery of this portal was not an accident, but a destiny we were both meant to fulfill. Standing tall and slender, Zirian had a commanding presence. His skin was a mesmerizing shade of turquoise, radiant and almost translucent, as if it were crafted from the very essence of the world around him. It seemed to shimmer and change in hue, depending on the angle and intensity of the light, creating an ethereal, otherworldly glow. His eyes were perhaps the most captivating feature. They were large and almond-shaped, with irises that glowed with a brilliant shade of azure, reflecting the colors of the alien sky. Zarian's facial features were elegant and refined, with high cheekbones and a narrow jawline. His lips were a slightly darker shade of turquoise, giving his expression an air of both seriousness and mystery. He had no visible nose, but instead possessed a series of delicate ridges that adorned his forehead, perhaps a feature unique to his species. His long, slender fingers moved with grace and precision, a testament to his scientific expertise. He wore a form-fitting, iridescent garment that seemed to meld seamlessly with his skin, its colors shifting and blending with the surroundings. Zarian, too, had been probing the mysteries of the multiverse from his end and was experimenting with portals when a rift opened on his end and I stepped through. Shortly after I stepped through, the portal closed, but I was too enchanted by the sights before me to notice. 
As I stood there in awe of the alien world that surrounded me, Zarian began to walk toward me with a grace that seemed effortless. His radiant turquoise form glided through the surreal landscape, his eyes locked onto mine with a magnetic intensity that drew me closer to him. When he finally reached me, a sense of wonder and curiosity mirrored in his gaze. He extended his hand in a gesture of greeting. It was a universal gesture of friendship, and I tentatively reached out, our fingers meeting in a moment of connection that transcended the boundaries of language and species. To my amazement, as soon as our hands touched, I felt a surge of understanding, a telepathic connection that allowed us to communicate without words. It was as if our thoughts and emotions flowed effortlessly between us, bridging the gap between our two worlds. Zarian smiled, a warm and welcoming expression that reassured me in this strange and wondrous place. He began to speak, his thoughts resonating in my mind with a clarity that left no room for doubt. I am Zarian, he conveyed, his mental voice carrying a sense of sincerity and kindness. And you, dear traveler from afar, are Dr. Eliza Foster, the one who has crossed the threshold into our dimension. I nodded, my own thoughts forming and transmitting effortlessly. Yes, I am Dr. Eliza Foster. It's an honor to meet you, Zarian. With that, we spent those first few hours in the alien world getting to know each other, our minds intertwined in a dance of thoughts and emotions. We shared our stories, our passions, and our experiences as scientists. It was a conversation that flowed with a natural ease, as if we had been friends for a lifetime. We spoke of the science experiment we had both been working on at the same moment, the experiment that had led to the creation of the portal that had brought me here. It was a moment of revelation, realizing that our paths had intersected through the very fabric of the multiverse itself. As we delved deeper into the intricacies of our work, the excitement and wonder of our shared journey became palpable. We exchanged theories and insights, our combined knowledge expanding the horizons of what we knew about the nature of reality. In those precious hours, amidst the beauty of the alien world and the resonance of our shared thoughts, I felt a connection with Zarian that went beyond the scientific. It was a connection of kindred souls, of two beings drawn together by destiny and a shared passion for understanding the multiverse. And as we stood there, bathed in the alien light, I knew that this was the beginning of an extraordinary journey that would forever change the course of our lives. As I conversed with Zarian through the telepathic connection we shared, a profound realization settled within me like a certainty etched in the fabric of the universe. There was no going back. The portal that had brought me to this alien world had opened not by mere chance, but by the convergence of our simultaneous experiments. It was a fluke, a unique alignment of circumstances that defied replication. But more than that, I sensed something deeper, something that went beyond the laws of physics or the mysteries of the multiverse. Through our mental connection, I felt an unspoken bond, an undeniable connection that transcended our separate worlds and species. It was as if the very essence of our souls had melded together in that moment of contact, and I knew with a certainty that I was as much his as he was mine. Our destinies had become intertwined, and I couldn't imagine a life without him by my side. As I gazed into Zarian's eyes, which shimmered with an understanding that mirrored my own, I knew that our journey had only just begun. The portal had brought me to this alien world, but it was our shared passion for knowledge, our connection as kindred spirits, and the profound love that was blossoming between us that would guide our path into the uncharted territories of the multiverse. There was no turning back, no desire to return to the life I had known on Earth. I had crossed into a new dimension, a dimension where love and science were intertwined in the most beautiful and unexpected ways. And with Zarian at my side, I was ready to embrace the mysteries and wonders that awaited us, forging a love that would span the boundaries of time, space, and reality itself. As our days in the alien world unfolded, Zarian and I found ourselves navigating a landscape filled with challenges and uncertainties. 
It became increasingly clear that our presence and our relationship were seen as unconventional, even forbidden, by the society that Zerian hailed from. His civilization, with its own intricate set of norms and traditions, viewed interspecies relationships with skepticism and caution. The very idea of an Earth physicist and an alien scientist falling in love and sharing knowledge was met with resistance and prejudice. Our connection was a rarity, an anomaly that defied the conventions of his world. But as we faced these societal challenges, our love only seemed to deepen. It was not merely a fleeting attraction or a passionate infatuation. It was born of something far more profound, a shared thirst for knowledge and understanding that transcended the boundaries of our respective worlds. Our days were spent in a constant quest for scientific enlightenment. We delved deeper into the mysteries of the multiverse, conducting experiments and pushing the boundaries of what was known. Our joint pursuit of knowledge was a bond that fueled our love as we marveled at the intricacies of the cosmos and the possibilities that lay before us. The unpredictable nature of the portals we manipulated added another layer of complexity to our relationship. Each journey through the multiverse was a leap into the unknown, a test of our resilience and determination. We faced dangers and challenges that tested the limits of our courage and intellect. Yet with every obstacle we overcame, our love grew stronger. It was a love that was fortified by our shared experiences, by the exhilaration of discovery, and by the unbreakable bond that formed between us as we faced the mysteries of the universe together. Our love was not just a romantic connection, it was a partnership, a collaboration and a celebration of the infinite possibilities that the multiverse had to offer. It was a love that defied societal norms and the uncertainties of the cosmos, a love that burned with a passion for knowledge and an unwavering commitment to each other. Thank you so much for spending this time with us. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please remember to hit the like button. It really helps the channel. Make sure you're subscribed and have your notifications turned on so you won't miss a single new upload.